Good morning. It is Sunday, April 15th, uh, right around 9.30 in the morning. I, um, my name is Carrie. I am doing Optivia for ladies over 50, and I am at work right now. I'm going to do a couple hours here before I go home today, but I did receive my first box of meals, uh, and I'm quite impressed with them, to tell you the truth. When I found my coach and talked to her and signed up and paid the $395. And in the course of our conversation, I had asked her, how do I go about getting the first box of meals? And she said, well, I will take care of ordering the first box for you. And I thought, well, you know, you don't really know me. So how do you know what to order? So I knew that I had watched enough of the YouTube videos where they were doing certain things with the food and doing hacks with it. And so I knew that I wanted the brownie, the cookie and the pretzel snacks, definitely. So um, the rest of it, she did go ahead and order for me. <clears throat> I don't think there's a whole lot of variety. Uh, I do like what I've, I see here. Uh, I was a little surprised when the box came. It's not that big of a box, but it's a heavy box and it is packed. So they do a good job of really getting a lot of this stuff into a little box. Uh, I'm going to start on Tuesday, the 17th. That's my kickoff day. But I wanted to show you a little bit about what, what came in the box. Let me tell you, too. Since I signed up, I have been having myself ooh, a good old time. I have been eating anything and everything that I want because I know I'm starting this. So I'm, I've... Let go of that guilt of, oh my God, I can't eat this. It just, it's so good, but I'm just going to keep getting fatter and fatter if I don't do something. So I have had my cocktails. I have had Dunkin' Donuts um, caramel latte, which I love. I've gone to the Amish market yesterday and had a hot dog stuffed pretzel. I took a piece of cheesecake to work with me. I ate that. We went out for dinner last night. I had meatloaf and mashed potatoes and an appetizer and a couple of drinks and... I bought a bag of Kit Kat bars. I had a couple of those when I got home. So I've really just enjoyed myself this week. But here's the thing. Going out for dinner last night, I put on a pair of jeans that I hadn't worn yet that I just bought a couple of months ago. I had to pour myself into those jeans. I had my granny panties on and I had my Spanx tank, tank top underneath kind of holding all that together again. And then the top I wore was so cute. It was really cute, but it's a 1X, man. How did I get there? Jesus. And I bought it because I like it. It's nice and big and loose and flowy, but I am tired of wearing nice, big, loose, flowy tops. I want to wear the clothes I already own in my closet. That is the biggest kicker for me. So, having done all this this week with the splurging, I'm ready. I'm ready to... Uh, purge my body of all this crap I've been enjoying. So let me show you a little bit of what I have. It's going to be a little awkward here. Let me see if I can do this. I'm not very good at this stuff. So we have smashed potatoes. Oh, there, got my shaker. Potatoes, um, chocolate cake, chocolate brownie, chocolate cookie, penne noodles, tomato bisque, soup. See that? Then we have we got here chicken noodle we have pancakes uh chocolate shake vanilla shake that's the one thing i'm not too pleased with it's, i don't really like van strawberry shakes i would have really preferred the vanilla i do think there's a way I can, I can exchange that so i'm gonna look into that because i plan on using the shakes mostly with my coffee in the morning to give me my first fueling that it's kind of like what I did when I was on Beachbody, and I really enjoyed that, so I think I, I will do that. Then I've got this mega lot of, we got chocolate mint cookie crisp, cranberry honey, caramel delight, drizzled chocolate fudge, creamy double peanut butter crisp, uh, silky peanut butter, drizzled berry. That'll be good with my, some coffee, too. And raisin oatmeal. Then we have pretzels. Am I getting those? pretzels. And then we have two boxes of cereal. So um, I've gone to the grocery store. I printed out my list. Ah, there's my hand. Sorry. Printed out. There's a list of staples to get for your kitchen. A lot of it I already have. A lot of the spices. I had a little struggle finding 
sugar-free pancake syrup, but I did find it eventually. And, you know, my almond milk and a couple of other things. It wasn't really that much. Peanut butter, too, which is a powdered peanut butter. I've never used it, but I have um, heard good things about it from when I was on Beachbody. Um, I am going to start on Tuesday morning. I'm going to talk to my coach on Monday night. I also joined a, uh, my coach put me on a Facebook page for ladies who are doing this, or women, girls, whoever, um, and they are sharing a lot of recipes. So I have saved them. You know, on your Facebook page, you can do that little three dot thing, the drop down list, hit saved, and then over on your left side of your screen, there's a button that says you're saved. And when you click on that, all the things that you have saved are there. So I've just printed off all these recipes and I'm keeping a file. So I think on Monday night, um, I will sit down and actually write out a menu for each day of the week, just to shake it up a little bit. So I think the first day I'm gonna do a, um, the shake and my coffee in the morning at like 7.30, 8.30, 9, 30, 10. I'll do a bar because that's right when my shop opens, so I'll be busy right then, so I can just grab that real quick. Um, so that's 10, 11, 12, 30. I'll probably do some soup. 12, 31, 32, 33. Um, pretzel snacks. 5.30, I'll have my dinner with chicken and some greens and olives. And so 5.30, 6.30, 7. Um, maybe, I'll have a, maybe I'll have a brownie. I don't know. And then 8.30, 7, 8, 9.30. I'll have to have something else. Maybe I'll have cereal. I like cereal at night. So that could be good. And then I usually go to bed at 10, so I'll be I'll be good to go. It's going to be interesting to figure out how to shake things up and add some condiments in there. Um, I probably, for the first two or three weeks, won't do any extra ac activity and just see how much weight comes off without it. I'd like to take a little bit of weight off before I start really exercising because of my knees. So I like to get, you know, I'm hoping in two or three weeks to have 10 pounds off. I might be a little of a stretch. Let's go with six, seven, eight, right around there. And then after that, I will get my bike out and do some cycling. And even if I just get out and walk, because when I, when you exercise, when you add exercise into it at my age and my weight, I can do four snacks and two lean and greens. And so it's four and two. So that would really be good. And I have company coming in like six weeks for the weekend. So that's going to be a challenge to get through that weekend with my sisters <laughs> and uh, be successful with it. But I will miss my cocktails, but I think I need to purge those anyway. So I'll keep you posted. Um, I'll touch base with you after Mon after Tuesday, after the first day, it's let you know how starving I am, if at all. Eh, I'm not looking forward to that. And how I'm going to conquer this coffee addiction. Mm. So until then, have a good weekend, be good, enjoy the weather.